Well, I guess it's time we clean the drill out. We're done to fall time. Be a good opportunity to, while it is up at the shop, to blow the fins out. Ugh. No wonder engines engines run hot. Radiation we just got the shop back all, or the uh, seat boxes all cleaned out. So that way, we don't have soybeans that sprout in this grain drill. And I hear the sound of the disc bind going. Washing this and mowing hay in between. Well, it's not even <clears throat> eight o'clock yet. And yeah, it's already 77 degrees out. Eh, it is what it is. It is going to rain a little bit. But you know what? It's no hotter outside. Well, it's cooler out here than it would be in hell. Let's just put it that way. Yep. Only a Christian would understand what that means. It's cooler here on earth than it would be cooler or than it would be in hell. Hell is no place where you want to go. I don't get why this stupid thing sounds like it's starving for water. Nope. That's on. And then it kinked. I don't know. No, the hose ain't kinked anywhere. I don't know. Everything broke when I go to run it. This is freaking ridiculous. But you know what? At least it's at least it's putting out water. Why isn't it putting out water at a consistent rate? I have yeah, no it's idea. There. It's going to have to be done two or three times, but it ain't supposed to get any hotter today, so that'll be good. Well, it's getting ready to rain. You would think that that pressure washer tip. As much as we change these dang things or blow them out, the key to not get letting them get plugged is you don't want to let them touch the ground because there's a quick release here and it is more sensitive than I'll get out, okay? We had the water shut off yesterday to fix that cow water. I find it really, really hard to believe it took a half hour to get the line all primed back up again but it is what it is we'll just have to make looks the like it's going to rain just enough to screw the day up but you know what whatever it is what it is well if that don't give you an idea how hard it's raining, yeah. Um, yeah, we're done for the day. As far as, as far as doing any outside work, it has come to a screeching halt, unfortunately. Such as washing a grain drill, mowing hay, any outdoor activity has been put has been put well out of commission. I guess I can let the cows back in a hair. Just like I was told to do. That is dried up enough to wear, you know. That's just water or residue from last night it uh, never dried so we'll put them back in here it's unfortunate that you know we don't have oops i gotta grab a chain 
it's unfortunate that we only got seven round bales of straw uh which means we are gonna have to be using the rest of the corn fodder that we baled from 2023 um oh, what the? oh there it is right there well gosh darn it guess it's one way to get a chain to stay but when you're in a kind of a hurry there um it's quite unfortunate that we only got seven round bales of straw and i think 50 what almost 500,000 square bales or so so shouldn't have sold it but we to as many people as we did we should have kept some round bales for ourselves because we're gonna have to round bale the heck out of uh, corn fodder this winter this fall in order to um make thing make ends meet or i'll just bed with square bales like we used to but and that's okay had to have two hands to open tight or chain that open like i said this is going to get bedded um yeah that's going to have to happen use this straw here when we were working on the water we had to kneel so we had something <clears throat> dry to kneel down on to fix that water but it's in so good got everybody operation everybody all now. put back where they belong and if you guys are just your first time here you found this video my name's travis i'm 30 years old and i'm a farmer farmer's son okay bring you up to speed we just got done with ohio wheat harvest um we're all done we usually get around 20 to 30 or so 40 round bales we only got seven round bales this year of wheat straw but there's still oat straw which we'll round bale all that so uh let's not jump to conclusions that that fast it it just got done raining today this morning actually we tried to mow hay a little bit it is quarter nine right now um just doing a little odds and ends stuff here i see we have a low tire on the feed cart um that's gonna need that's gonna need a dressing shortly um because you can tell when you put feed in the cart uh it always wants to favor this side so that tells me that there's a low tire so Great. i don't know what i want to do first um yeah we got water trying to run into barn so it's done raining now but we will be resuming mowing hay when it dries a little bit we need to put um, those totes that are back there on that trailer, but we also need to hook the hay tether up to the 6120 and um, get it ready to go. I might do the totes first, just so that way we can get the darn truck out of the middle of the drive. Makes it easy to load. I can get That's why away. he leaves the straps like this. That way he can screw around with trying to put the um, strap through the ratchet part. And it always is a good idea to wire the ends up so that you can keep everything all nice and tidied up. Got them all strapped down. Yeah, I know it's probably not the prettiest way to 
do it but you know what they're on there and they will travel they are good and tight you cannot you know now they're good and tight you cannot strap down anything whatsoever without saying that ain't going nowhere. I'm just going to let him tie his ends up because everybody does their ends differently. It's just how it is. So we got our Ted machine all hooked up here. I don't know, I'm not happy with that. Stuck on that stupid hook. need to flip the foot up or no I guess the foot was never set down that jack back there that keeps the thing from flipping backwards well so far I like that no broken teeth oh that breeze feels good no broken teeth on this basket broken teeth on that basket good deal it's all greased and ready for second cutting hay whenever we get her so down so I'm only going to say this once and one time only okay those of you that like to harass me okay have never had a job in your life and it shows. Okay. Why there has to be haters in the world? I got no clue, but you know, you'll get what you get. What uh, you'll reap, what you sow. When you stand before the Lord, our God, and give an account for what you have done in your life think I'm joking just wait until you die okay need to go top this thing off with diesel fuel we are good on the well we might need to top the death off I don't know um so that's just how it is you know people suck that have to constantly harass others that aren't doing them any harm i just wish people would just mind their own damn business i've never done anything to make people want to harass me in any way shape or form it's just it's just how the world is can i be 100 percent honest with you guys as i am honest with a face-to-face -face person why do you guys have to harass me i want an honest answer you can you know who you are why i don't do it to you so why do it to me you know that's what I was always taught. Do unto others as you would have done unto Could you. Could have pulled it in a little further. Maybe even got the spike right underneath that wagon if I needed the room. But I don't. Well. Nah, we're in. So I really wish that, um, you know, people would just quit harassing me, you know. Because it's not cool. It's not. Mm, it's not. Oh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Um, it's not. 
Oh, I, I, likewise? If that makes sense? To want to harass somebody to the point where, you know, it becomes a problem, okay? And I don't need to explain anymore. It is done. I just wish that people would realize that I'm human and I'm not perfect like you haters. But you know what? Screw it. People are going to hate you for speaking the truth like I do. And, you know, you just have to live with it. Nobody, not everyone in this world is going to like you. And I've come to the realization of that. I just keep doing me and you just keep doing you. But let's all just try and be a little bit nicer about the harassing. It's illegal via YouTube uh, standards and recommendations. I do not harass people. I do not clip their content and insert words into said clips to make said YouTuber look like a fool. Never have, never will. Don't see any point in doing okay, it. Okay, so it's stuff like this that just irritates me. Especially when, you know, this guy goes and John Deere makes an idiot out of me. Because you know what? Because I worked for it. Damn straight I, I worked did. for it. I bought this machine with my own money. Yeah. And the rest of Americans could too if they got off their lazy... But you know what? <sighs> Whatever. Just let the haters hate. You know, it's unfortunate, but you know what? It is what it is. And um, there will always be idiots in the world that, you know, yes, I'm saving up for a house one day. Save all the money you can. I made some bad choices in my life. And every person makes bad choices. Like I said, we're all human. And I've got them darn paper towels. Um, you know, nobody's perfect like the haters that, you know, just sit behind a keyboard and, um, just want to type whatever the heck they want. My life, I live it how I want, thank you very much. So, um, without any further ado, this might be a long video, I don't know. I'm gonna get back to washing that sewing There's nothing machine. I hate more than not having paper towels in the building here where they can stay nice and dry. When you get done washing uh, with the pressure washer, I've tried uh, just sticking them back behind a fan on the dryer to keep them out of the weather, but the daggum mice have made a mess out of them in the past. I would put them right ahead, and then I would remove them when we would go to start the dryer, but them darn mice would always make a mess. So, we put them in the building there on a existing nail already. What are them things doing? Huh. That's the furthest I've seen them up here in a long time. Man, I don't know if it's a good idea to pull the sewing machine out and start washing again or not. But... We gotta do something. Dad got rained out mowing second cotton hay outside the house here. We're not gonna pick back up with that until later when we are sure that it is done raining, but I can back the sewing machine back out. Start well, washing. the we'll first time get. around it wasn't too bad. Could do a little touching up, but yeah, that's why you wash things two, sometimes three times. You wash it once, 
this goes for anything. You wash it once. You let it dry. You come back and say what you missed. And then that way you can concentrate on them a little bit better. Like that beam. About a little bit over halfway back. And then actually the whole thing about a little bit over halfway back. But other than that, it don't look too awfully bad I will say myself perseverance and it's sticking with something pays off it really does we got to do upstairs yet but we'll get there it's coming along um I got no clue what they want huh what what do they want? Oh boy. Well, that's a good thing I caught this when I did. We're going to have to be doing some patchwork on this here because, well, why it wore through is beyond us. But, you know what? Things happen. How about, no, there's no drive over here, just on this side. Take his cover off here and get right to the drive chain. But why it wore a hole through? No idea. I'm just a wand holder today. I'm not a welder. 